Hello, I'm Dr. David Rath, Reclamation's Chief Engineer. As we recognize the 100th anniversary of the Colorado River Compact, I want to talk for a minute about how the agreement came about. The compact is recognized as the cornerstone of the law of the river. Negotiated by the seven Colorado River Basin states and federal government in 1922, it defined the relationship between the upper and lower basin states. That was important because most of the river's water supply originates in the upper basin, while most of the early demands for water were developing in the lower states. During that period in Western water history, the upper basin states had concerns about their ability to use the river's water in the future. Their concerns were driven by the way existing law would allocate water from projects under development, including Hoover Dam. With the states unable to agree on how the waters of the basin should be allocated, Herbert Hoover, who was Secretary of Commerce at the time, suggested the basin be divided into an upper and lower half. Each basin would then have the right to develop and use 7.5 million acre feet annually. The states agreed, and this approach reserved water for future upper basin development and allowed planning and development in the lower basin to proceed.